Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain about identity operators. So, identity operators are used to compare not only two variables, but they tell us whether two variables are actually the same object or not. So, we can say that they compare the memory locations of the objects. So, in Python, we have two operators which are is and is not. As you can see here I have stated that is returns true if both the variables refer the same object and is not returns true if both the variables refer different objects. Let's understand how they work. Now let's say I have a variable named n1 which holds the value 20. Now I'm going to create another variable which is n2 and I'm again going to say that the value for n2 is 20 as well. Now let's say what will happen if I say n1 is n2. See it returns true which means both n1 and n2 are the same object. But what does that mean? Now let me check this in a different way using the id function. So I'll check what is the id for n1 and what is the id for n2. Let's run the code and see. If you can check the values, see both the id for n1 and n2 are actually same. But think that the variables are actually different. Then why are the id same and why does it say that n1 and n2 is the same object? It is because in Python we have a concept that states that if two variables contains the same value, then Python does not create a separate space for the other variable. Okay, rather it simply points to the previous one. So that is the concept that is followed in Python. Hence, when we use the identity operator to compare the IDs, then we get the value as true. If I put it inside the print statement, you can see it again. Like if I run the code again, we can see that it says true. Now let's say after a few lines of code, I will just be changing the value for n1 and again I would keep n2 as 20. And I'll just cut this code and paste it after this. Let's see what happens now. See, you can see that n1 Although previously both of them shared the same ID, but now they don't share the same ID. But now they don't share the same ID and it returns false if we ask if N1 and N2 is the same object. But if you write N1 is not N2, then you get the output as true. This proves that if two objects are not same and we ask if uh, one object is not the other one then we get it as a true. So I hope this is clear to you and watch the next video to learn about the other operators.